Good afternoon, I'm back, Bleacher FM, with another episode of the Retro Database Coventry save. Uh, in the last episode, we managed to go on a bit of a unbeaten run of four matches. We won three of them and drew one, so pretty good episode, last episode. We're currently lying in six in the league, so we're in the playoff zone. And um, in this episode, we've, we'll, we'll try and continue where we left off, try and keep ourselves in the playoffs and have a, a lot of fun while we're playing it as well. Um, we are on the 1st of January in the game, so could be some transfers in, could be some transfers out, so it'll be an exciting, hopefully be an exciting transfer window. And uh, on that note, I'll be back in a sec with the first game of the episode. Right, so before we play the next game, I just want to let you know we've got some exciting news. The um, the board have come back to us with the request to buy the stadium, so we're now going to be buying the Rico Arena, the, the one thing that the Coventry fans wanted wanted back in the day. Um, still not happened in real life, I don't think. I could be wrong with that one. But yeah, so according to this, we should be concluding the deal to buy the stadium by June 2024, which in the game is literally six months' time. Um, we've got some potential transfers coming in, mostly free transfers. We'll just do we'll just click on that. So we've got a player called Maxime Bucker. Um, would be an excellent sign in, 24 years old, plays for Le Havre. And then we've got Fernando Couto, who probably people will remember back in the day. Still got very good attributes for a man of his age, perfectionist personality as well. So great mentor for the younger players. And obviously we've got Jamie Vardy coming in. He's coming in, I think. Might be coming in in a second, actually. I can't remember. Um, and then we've got Robert Malm as well. Another experienced striker. Uh, sorry, an experienced player. Striker, fair to him personality. Decent attributes. Currently has 10 goals in 18 games for Montepella. Um, never heard of him before, but it was just come up as a recommendation because his contract was expiring. And then also Mark Birchall as well. So we're going striker crazy here at Coventry. We're probably going to have about 10 strikers by the time I finish. But as far as I'm concerned, you can never have too many strikers. Uh, nine goals in 22 games so far for Dunfermline. 27 years old. Mark Birchall used to play for Celtic and Rangers, I think. I could be wrong, I could be wrong on that one. Let's have a look. I know he used to play for Celtic. Um, yeah, Celtic, sorry. And then went to England for a bit. Went back to Scotland. Now he's going back to England. So I feel sorry for his family. And then we'll have a look at transfers out. Robert Page is hopefully going, so is Kevin Kyle. On loan, unfortunately, but better than nothing. Gets their wages off. Um, so, yeah. Right, the board have gone to this player here. So we're just going to... Uh, no. Uh, Daddy Ali has gone. Just quickly do this. Sign the squad numbers. Uh, welcome to the club, won't take me long, we've got Teddy Sheringer, we've got another striker. Just quickly do this, we brought Andrew Cole in as well, I completely forgot we got Andy Cole in. Oh my god, we've got way too many strikers, I'm going to have to sort that out. Have I, did I sign him? Yeah, Andrew Cole. So we've got the old Man United partnership of Sheringer and Cole up front. We've got Stephen Quinn in, at least he's young. Young quality player, brought in for 215k. Teddy Sheringham, still can do it, man of his age, ambitious personality. Darren Anderson, who will barely play, but he is has a professional personality, probably be good as a, an impact sub. I just wanted him in there so I could say I've signed him. A lot of these players are going to be way past it, but I don't care. And then Andrew Cole, 36 years old, could probably still do it on his, on his day. Um, only played twice for Sunderland so far. Balanced personality, but yeah, I'm just buzzing at the fact that we've got Sharon Cohen and Cole in at Coventry. Yeah, but Delhi Alibola has gone the other way. So we we haven't signed Kuto yet. We've got other people interested in him, so we'll see how that goes. Um it's got a Craze Misford. My mouse will let me do it quickly enough. Should have done all this before, but I wanted to show you the signings that I made. Right, that's that done. Oh, um, Wall's not happy. Squad status change. They need to get rid of this for 20, uh, FM25. It's just such a poor thing because it just disrupts the morale. Right, the zoo signed a new contract. 
squad registration. Jamie Vardy has come to the club. I'm going to send him out on loan though because at the moment he's not going to get in the team. So he needs first team experience. There is a few clubs wanting to sign him on loan already. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, Bur uh, Burry, Dagenham and Redbridge and Hereford. So at the moment he's only good enough for League 2. But in time he might become a really good striker. We don't know. We took a chance. Might work out, might not. Right, so we've got Andy Cole, make, Andrew Cole, sorry, making his debut today. Showing him on the bench. Probably a good impact sub to have. Yep, yeah, Teddy Showing him's on the bench. So we might have to get rid of... Let's have, a, let's have a look and see how many strikers we've got. Right, let's have a look. So, he can go out on loan. We'll send him out on loan, so that's him sorted. Um, we're trying to get rid of him anyway. Leon McKenzie. Yeah, we're probably going to have to try and sell him, I think. Even though he played really well last episode. Or the episode before, I can't remember. Um... Right, let's try and offer him out. We'll offer some of his wage. And then I think Wayne Andrews needs to go as well. We're taking up space that could be taken by other strikers. If I get rid of these two, I'm going to bring in Robbie Fowler if I can. But I don't know if he'll come to me. Right, let's see how we get on. Andrew Cole, I'm excited to see how he does. We've got Sharon on the bench as well, so we can always call upon him. But there we go. Already has a touch on the ball. Over the top to Misford. Misford takes it down the wing, lobs it up. Nearly went to Cole already. That would have been amazing if Cole scored already. Borrowdale takes the ball, intercepts the pass, gives it back to our goalie, Dimitris. Elliot Ward across on the right side. Uh, Caro now. He's got a good cross on him. He know where Andrew Andrew Cole is. Andrew Cole with the shot, unfortunately, gets blocked. But very positive from Cole so far. He's getting interest. He's getting into the game. Ward headers it out. Borrowdale with the ball now. Passes it to Pew. Misford takes it on himself to oh, one two with Doyle. Misford get in. Go on, Misford. Fifteenth goal of the season for him. Tell, he's uh, showing me that he's still the main man here at Coventry City. After five minutes, 1-0. So I think our strikers moving forward are going to be Andrew Cole, Teddy Sheringham, Misford and Leon Best. We have probably Vardy if he doesn't get loaned out as a backup or Robert Simpson. We've still got to try and get rid of Kevin Cole, um, Wayne Andrews and Leon McKenzie. Maybe they'll have to go out on loan for now. But we'll see. And then eventually I'll try and bring in, uh, in the summer, try and bring in some other old superstars like Robbie Fowler, Jimmy Floyd, Hasselbank maybe. Oof, hit the post. Andrew Cole playing really well so far, 7.1 rating for him. Oh, what a, goal, what a shot by Michael Doyle. Oh, you got to love it. 2-0. What a goal indeed, commentator. Absolutely destroying Ipswich at the moment. 14 shots, 5 on tie, 1.50 XG. Currently 4th now, 2 points behind 2nd place Southampton. You never know, we might end up getting automatic promotion to the Premiership. Which would be good, because then it will help me lure some of these older players to the club. I want to try and have Coventry City, um, a mix of uh, youth prospects coming through, and senior pros that have done it in the Premiership. I think that would be the sensible thing to do in the first season anyway. I don't want to sign any of these. I mean, I know I signed Jamie Vardy, but he wasn't exactly a wonder kid. It was a late bloomer. Oh, 2-1. You never know. The comeback might be on. Um, I don't want to really sign any wonder kids. That are players that I know are going to end up becoming brilliant. So I feel like that ruins the game. Um, I thought I already took care of. I already took care of, didn't I? Oh, good save. Just about still in this game. Actually, complete turnaround from... Why is he not coming off? 
There we go. You all saw that. I pressed. I did it twice then. Right, Osborne gives it to Cole. Cole passes it to the Caro. Caro's last contribution in the game before he gets taken off. Let's see if he'll leave us with something to remember. Oh, <laughs> Andrew Cole gets his first goal for the club. Great cross by Caro. It's a shame Caro had to come off, but he is absolutely F-U-C... F-U-C-K-E-D. Knackered. Um, but yeah, we've retained our two-goal lead. Which is good. Can we take Borrowdale? Yes, we can. Doyle with the ball passes it to Ta. Hughes. I think Cole's got another one in him, to be honest. Ta. To Misford. Back to Doyle. Andy, Andrew Cole. Oh, nice bit of passing going on here, keeping possession, waiting for the right moment. Borrowdale. There we go, on the right here. Marcus Hall, for some reason, playing as right back. Oh, lobs it over. Anyway, Giddings is on. We can't take any more players off, so no debut for Teddy Sheringham today. But yeah, currently fourth in the league, two points behind Southampton. Neck and neck on points with Watford as third. So we're still on track for the playoffs, hopefully. Marcus Hall to Doyle. Fortunately, he loses the ball. Ipswich on, Ipswich on the counter-attack now. Good defensive play there by Ward to give it back to Dimitris. Dimitris takes his time, which is usually trademark for him. Standard. Boots it out. Fortunately, the opposition get the ball. Good ball. That was a good goal. Good pass in there. I think he might be offside though, personally. No? Okay, fair enough. Right, nervous times ahead. Try and demand a bit more. To get another goal, hopefully. Their goal kick. We headed it. Oh, Pew. Looks up, gives it to Misford. Misford now. Oh, straight in the goalkeeper's hands. Okay, a few minutes left. Oh, God. Corner to Ipswich. Here we go. No, headed out nicely. So they've still got it, though. Former Liverpool player, Jay Spearing. Alex Bruce, I think that was. Good defensive play. Ah, there you go, Andrew Cole. Clearing the ball. Man of the match performance by him. Michael Doyle looks like he's going to get man of the match, though, with an 8.4 rating. Nice uh, stretch of goalkeeper. Okay. Right then. I think this will be it in a second. He'll just kick this out. Good header out. Doyle, we got one more chance in there in this game. Misford loses the ball, sadly. Gives it to the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper kicks it out. And they're going to equalise. There we go. <laughs> Standard. Unbelievable. Ah. Whoa. What can I say? At least it was entertaining for you lot. Annoying for me, though. At least Andy Cole scored in his debut. Anyway, I'll be back in a sec with the next game. Right, we're back and we're playing West Ham in the FA Cup. Um, Cole retains his place in the team with Misford. And then the rest of the team is pretty straightforward. Um, so let's just crack on. West Ham, who's West Ham got at this point? They've probably got Decanio. No, that might be a bit too, might be too late for Canio. Colin Cole though, Bobby Samora, two excellent strikers. Mark Noble's there, Kieran Dyer's there, Matthew Upson, Gavadon, Anton Fernand, Frubert, Richard Wright in goal. And on the subs bench, you've got Jack Collison, Lee Bower, Trevor Stewart, never heard of him, uh, Christian Daly and James Tonkins. So, pretty good team when you think about it. Probably better than us, really. Doyle's off already. He's injured. His contract expires um, in the summer. We haven't got the, the wage budget to offer him a new contract at the moment, which is quite concerning. I want to kind of tie him down to a new contract if I can. But we probably will end up losing him, unfortunately. I'll try and bring him back afterwards, but it, he'll probably be gone. Unless I can get unless I can make some sales in the January window to generate money. But at the moment, I don't think we can. 
don't want to sell Leon Best because he's a really good prospect. I'd rather keep Leon Best than keep Michael Doyle if I had to. Um, I haven't really got any decent sellable assets at the club that would get us enough money to put into the ways budget really. Because of the database you don't really get much money for player sales. Uh, we'll, we'll probably have to lose him. But we'll make the most of him while we can. You never know. Um, in the when the season's over, we'll get our new budgets. And we'll, we'll probably, if we can, we might be able to offer them a new contract then. All right, Stephen Quinn's making his debut. Come on for Doyle. He nearly scored there. Andrew Cole again, playing really well. First half ending with not much happening. Not many highlights. Corner to West Ham there. Luckily, we've headed it out. Good shot by Gavadon. Right, first half done. Let's see if the second half is a little bit better for us. Be nice to go on a bit of a cup run. Misford's not playing very well, so we'll take him off and we'll put on. We'll give Mark Virtual a debut. So, um, Mark Virtual is a player that we signed on a free transfer, but we have the option to buy him now for 95 grand, so that's what we did. So, he's on the subs bench. Um, Teddy Sherman's not on the bench because he is injured for about seven days, so he wasn't able to play. 1-0 uh, to West Ham. Good header by Bobby Samora. Right, let's try and demand a bit more, see if that helps in any way. Jay Tab's not playing particularly well, so we'll take him off. Uh, Von Caro. They're going to score an identical, identical goal to the last one. 2 0, game over. I think we're out of the cup now. I think that's safe to say. We need to get a goal very quickly to get uh, stay in this game. We can't take any more players off. We took, all, took the maximum amount for the FA Cup. So we just got to make do with what we've got. Hope we don't get any injuries in the next 30 minutes. Good defensive play by Ward. They are just picking us apart here. They're just having a great time here. Dyer's going to score. Kieran Dyer. He was such a good player back in the day for Newcastle. Didn't really work out for him after that, I think. I think a lot, a lot like a, a lot of young footballers back then. I think the alcohol, drugs, and party lifestyle got too much for him, and I think I think it just ruined his career. Uh, we can't no, we can't take any players off. So we're down to ten men with fifteen minutes to go. Great. Luckily, it's a striker that's had to come off, so it's not too bad. It'd be worse if it was a defender. Good defensive play there. Oof. I'm so glad that this West Ham team doesn't have the Canio in it. He would absolutely destroy us. Right. 4-0. Bobby Samora hat-trick. Three headers. I mean, where's our defect? Where's our marking? Where's our man marking there? Andrew Cole is knackered. He just had his hands on his knees then trying to get some breath. Poor bugger. I'll give him a rest for the next game. Andrew Cole, is he going to get a consolation goal? Well, nearly. It's a good save by the goalie. Gives us a corner. Caro. Headed out. Got another chance. Caro. Gives it McNamini. Oof. All right, seven minutes go to go. Let's just get this game done now. Okay, that's that done. So not the best of episodes. A 3-3 draw after winning 3-1 and a 4-0 loss in the FA Cup. Virtual is out for 7-8 to eight months. I mean, that was money well spent. I mean, granted, it was a free transfer. But a 6k a week we've got to pay him. And he's not going to be able to play for the next 8 months. Great. <sighs> right, where's the next game? Okay, right. I'll be back in a sec. Right, we're back for the next game. We're playing Stoke. 
good old Stoke, probably uh, Tony Pulis Stoke. So we're gonna probably get a lot of long throws by um, by them if if it's the one I'm thinking of. But um, yeah, so we have some transfer news for you. So Michael Doyle won't sign a new contract. So I've just decided to. It is what it is, and um, he is going towards. We will get percentage of the yeah twenty percent of the next transfer we've got 100k up front and then a bit of money and add-ons like i said it's uh it, it is what it is there's nothing we can do about it we'd lose them on a free otherwise he didn't want to i tried to offer a new contract and he initially asked um he i couldn't afford to give him a wage and then i tried again and his agent wouldn't review the contract talks so he's off i'd rather get something than nothing uh michael saw looks like he's going for about 11k um, we've got one of our youngsters here, David Dunn, who's not very good, so he probably won't be at the club for much longer, but he's going out on loan. And then we've had a few outgoings. Um, Robert Page has gone on loan, so is Ro uh, Kevin Kyle, which we already knew about. Andrew Gooding is one of our youngsters, who's pretty good, to be honest. He is out on loan at Huddersfield at the moment. Uh, Colin Hawkins has gone on a free transfer to Carlisle. Jamie Vardy's gone on loan to Bury United. And then uh, transfers in. I don't think there's anybody to tell you since last. We've got this player here that the DOF signed, youngster. Looks like he'll be a good prospect for the future. But I think that's about it from that. And then we've got some future transfers lined up. I can't sign them yet because I haven't got the money to pay for them permanently. But we've got Robert Malm, who I've already explained about. And then this player here, Maxime Bakker, 24, be 25 probably by the time he joins us. Um, excellent signing, right back or left back. So he'll be a very good addition to have on either flank. He's mostly a defender right though. Um, played 18 times for Le Havre. So yeah, so not too bad. But anyway, onwards and upwards. We've got Stoke City. Um, I think it's pretty much the same team as the last game. Oh no, um, Cole's not playing, so we've got Leon Best in. So we've got the, the familiar strike partnership of Misswood and Best. Hopefully Misswood will have a better game this one. He, uh, he didn't play very well last game. But then again, there was a lot of players that didn't play very well last game. Hopefully this is the first win of the episode. Nothing so far. No highlights after 20 minutes. Very depressing for you lot to watch. Leon Best looks like he's playing well. 7.0 rating. We've had five shots, two on target so far. Right, now then he takes the ball off the Stoke player. Gives it to Dimitris. Dimitris to the zoo now. The zoo takes his time. Finds Osborne. Osborne to the left side pew. Um, Doyle with the ball now, back to Dazoo. I think we're just going to pass it around here until we get the ball taken off by the looks of it. This just screams defensive mistake in a second. We're too nervous on the ball. Few, maybe not. Maybe I'll stand corrected here. Best, Leon Best. Give it a good ball to Caro. Caro, straight to Misford. What a pass. Misford scores again. Great pass. Good pass in the first place from Leon Best as well, so fair play. Danny Pugh not playing very well. I can't give him a kick up the backside at the moment, so wait till half-time. Oh, talk to the devil. He must have heard us. He's come off. We'll put Stephen Quinn on. Youngster, 21 years old. Hopefully he'll impress us in this game. So this Stoke team's got Ryan Shawcross, who I think played about 20 years for him by the looks of it, from what I remember. There you go, Ricardo Fuller. I don't think this is the team that Tony Pugh has managed. Right, like I said, I could be wrong. I'll have a look in a sec, who's the manager is. Is that? Oh no, Dominic Matteo, I remember him. Um, Clint Hill, I remember him. Shawcross, obviously. Uh, but other than that, not really anybody that stands out as being a, a legend in the game. Rory Delaps there though. Why is he not playing? Actually, that's the point. Why don't we try and sign Rory? Hey, we can get him in on loan. Oh, we're going to have the, the bloody long throw specialist at Coventry. 
that's going to make things interesting. Right, I think there's a penalty here. Penalty to us, luckily. Leon Best lines it up. Short run by him. Good penalty. Nice, nicely done in the left corner of the pitch. Left corner of the goal, sorry. 2-0. I'm not going to get too excited because I was 3-1 up last time and we drew 3-3, three, three, so, you know. Kerr uh, is knackered. We'll take him off. Yeah, 2-0 up. Not too bad. Anybody playing particularly bad? No, so we'll just wait a bit before we make any more substitutions. Maybe take one of the central midfielders off because they're both on a book in each. Borrowed out. Quinn gives it to Misford. Ah. Oh. Misford, you did everything right up until the finish. Right, let's see what we can do. So, we'll take off Doyle, put Michael Hughes on, take off Osborne. Hmm, okay, I'm going to be controversial here. So, I'm going to switch him over here. Hold on. And then, if it lets me, I'm here. I'm here why are you not dragging across there we go okay that makes it a little bit more interesting see how we get on 10 minutes to go see if Sharon will make an impact on his debut I think the best way to use Sharon is sparingly even though he's had a good season with Colchester can't really rely on him at 41 years old. We need to think about the future as well. So, like, ideally, I'm probably going to have Best and Misford as the main strikers and then give Cole some game time because he can still play well and also Teddy Sheringham can play the odd game. But it's a very good it's a very good strike force to have, having Misford, Leon Best, Sheringham and Cole. Right, uh, look how many? Oh, we can't take more players off. Sheringham with a pass. Oof. Right, we're currently fifth. We've gone down slightly in the league because of the two. Well, the, the we've only played one league game in this episode, but that was enough to get us trickling down the league. At least we're back on track. First win of the episode, which is good. Fifth, we're two points behind. See, look at this. There's like three points behind. Six and second in, in the championship at the moment. So everything to play for. Um, they've accepted our loan offer for Dilla. Hopefully he won't reject it. We could do with a decent central midfielder actually to be honest. Because we are struggling for numbers at the moment. Especially with Doyle going as well. Maybe we could look to sign Dilla in the summer on a permanent transfer. Had some more offers for Marcus Hall. Had some more offers for Michael Doyle. Slightly better than the, the offer from Wall. So let's see if they'll give us percentage. They don't. Well, tough, because that's what I'm asking for. If you don't like it, you won't get him. Well, that's that then. It looks like he's, he's probably going to Wall then. Uh, I'll answer the shortlist. We don't really need goalkeepers at the moment. Pretty good on that one. We might be losing uh, Stuart Giddings. I don't know yet. I have offered him a new contract. I can't remember if he has actually agreed to it yet. Jamie Vardy. Let's have a look. Jamie Vardy scored his first Burry goal. That's good. Um, sorry, I forgot to go offline for this bit. I'll be back in a sec with the next game. Right, we're back for the game against Preston. Um, the usual lineup, I think, by the looks of it. We have got some news for you since the last game. Unfortunately, Giddens, Stuart Giddens, is going. Um, he's going to Laverna on a free transfer, so that's him out, unfortunately, which is a shame because I've got I've become attached to the ginger Roberto Carlos, as I call him. We have got Rory de Lapin on loan. He's got 18 in long throws, so hopefully we can use that. He's not starting today. 
So let's see if he's on the bench. Um, so in the summer, we definitely need to get a left back because uh, Marcus Hall is going as well. I think Stephen McQueen, Stephen Quinn can actually play as... No, he can't. Uh, he can in real life. I swear he used to play as a left back in real life. Maybe I need to train him for that. But yeah, I don't think Rory Delap is even in the on the subs bench. So maybe he's injured. No, he's there. Why is he not playing? I'll tell you what, I'm going to give him his debut. Uh, Doyle's off anyway, so we might as well just do that. Is he any good in that role? No, he's not. So let's put him back over here. No, he's not good in that role. What's his best role? Central midfielder support. Okay, that's fine. Put there. Central midfielder support. There we go. And then we'll take off Michael Hughes as he's not he's not hundred percent. We'll put Doyle there. Right, who else is not hundred percent? Teddy Sheringham, so we'll take you off. We've had offer we've actually had an offer for um for playing Andrews, which is pretty decent. Just over hundred K for him, so hopefully he'll be gone. Frees up a bit of money we can put into the wage budget. Right, let's go. Let's see how we get on. Rory Laff is lacking match sharpness. Okay, that's probably why he can start, but we'll give him a shot anyway. Especially with his long throws. There we go, talk of the man. Oh no, that was Borrowdale. I apologise, I thought that was Rory Dillap then. Alright, this Preston team. Um, I think that's Darren Carter. Lewis Neal, Lucas Neal maybe. Might be Lucas Neal. Davidson, I can't remember him. Oh, Best has nicked the ball off him. Best with the cross. Good goal by Ellie Caro. Ellie, Ellie Caro. Caro. Cairo with the ball. Gives it straight to the goalkeeper, Longerun. I think uh, Longerun's still playing football, isn't he? Is he at Liverpool or something as their third goalkeeper? I can't remember now. Or West Ham is one of the teams in the Premiership. Rory Delap. Oh, I nearly made a debut to remember there. You shouldn't be shooting Delap. You're only in the team to do your long throws. That's the only reason we, we signed you. We want to see your long throw. No, Magnamini, what are you doing taking throw-ins? I need to change this after this. In fact, I'm going to... Can I do it in the middle of a game? Maybe not. Wait for this highlight to finish and then I'll have a look. Ward. Passes the off-form. Back to Ward. Oh, that was a poor pass, Magnamini. Gallagher. Ostlund. Ost I can't remember Ostlund. That was a good ball. That was a terrible shot by former Liverpool player Neil Mellor. Right, let's have a look. Let's go. Tactics. Set piece. Here we go. So I've got the set piece coach in control of it. So how do I get out of this? Oh, it won't let me. Oh, okay. Fine. Um, okay. We'll change it after this game. I actually prefer having a set-piece coach, coach in control of it because the amount of times I'd get people, like assistant advice saying you need to remove him as a corner taker or you need to remove him as a free-kick taker or you need to add him as a free-kick taker. Just mindless time wasted doing that. So I'm glad in a way. Good tackle by Tab de Lap now. Beautiful pass. Oh. Still got the ball though, borrowed out. Lobs it up. Best. Oh, it's the bar. Corner to Kara. Floats it up. Saved by the goalie. Wilson for Preston. Darren Carter. Oh, flipping hell. Caught that goalkeeper off there with that low shot. Wilson. Corner. Headed out by us. Still got the ball, borrowed out. Let's counter attack from this. Could have been a bit quicker there. I don't know why you did a circle around with the ball there. No one near you. <sighs> that was a waste. Right, still 1 0 though. We've been very dominant in this game. Seven shots, three on target. Go 
Tala. Oh, Miss Ruth should have done better with that. Still very good so far. Kero and Leon Best playing really well. Um, Borodell's playing well. J Tab's playing well. Lots of pluses here. McNamney's not playing very well though. Neither's Missford at the moment. Try demand a bit more from him. Try encouraging him. Hopefully that will help. Borodell taking the throw in. I don't understand why we've got Borodell taking the throw in so we've got De La. De La's playing alright so far. He's having a decent game. Not done much, but what he has done has been pretty decent. It's all for the devil. De La. Misford. Beautiful pass to Caro. Caro finishes it nicely. I wonder what, um, after this game, I'm going to have a quick look and see how Ellery Caro's, or Caro, whatever his name is, career, how we, what happened after Coventry. I'll have a look for you. Because I'm just curious. J Tab with the ball. Gives it to McNamony. Good header by J Tab. Fourth goal of the season for him. Game over now, everyone. Right, McNamony, you can come off. Who can we put on for you? We've got three left. We've got three. Oh, so Julian Gray can play as left back, so that's good. We've got three left backs on the bench here, but no bloody right backs. I think the sensible thing to do is take off the players that have got yellow cards just to be on the safe side. So that's what we'll do. Oh no, the comeback's on. 3-3 free free, everybody, you, you've heard it first. Predicting this now, we're going to draw 3-3 free free against these. <sighs> right, we've got the ball. Let's make it 4-1 and then I can relax a bit more then. De La, pass it to Misford. Misford now, cross to Tab. Tab with a beautiful cross, headed out unfortunately. Jeta, lovely little cross to Caro. Oh, Caro nearly with his hat trick then. Still 3 1 though. We're doing very well. Borodell probably could do with coming off if we can do that. Yep, Giddens can come on for him. Best can come off and we'll put on Andrew Cole. Right, I think we've used up all of our subs now. Yep. That's just. Finish this game off. Where are you going, Miss Wood? Bloody hell, that was a hell of a free kick to us. I don't think it will lead to anything. The zoo. Hero with the cross, the lap. Oh, did oh, he hit the ball. I swear that was twice in a row he hit that ball there. Fortunately, he didn't score on his debut, but he played really well. Oh, good ball. <sighs> Three two. Quite worrying now. Is it allowed? No, it's not. Sorry, it's fine. We don't need to worry. Coming up towards the end of the game now. Good result. Good way to end the episode. 4 1, uh, 3 1, sorry. We're fourth in the league, 53 points, two points behind second place Watford. So we can still technically get automatic promotion. Um, but we'll see. Caro is a very good player. I'll have a look for. I'll try and remember to talk about him next episode. See if he 
In fact, I'll do it now. Um, let me get a browser up first while we have a look. Two seconds. Right. Ellery Caro. Okay. Right. Let me click on the browser here so you can see what I'm doing. No, that's not how I wanted to do. Why is this not work? Um, oh, I don't know why. There we go. There we go. Sorry about that, everyone. Right then. So, let's have a look. So we was at frame. Oh, no, you can't see what I can see. That's annoying. Um, why can't you see that? Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. Sorry about this. I'm not the best at things like this. So, yeah. So we was at Freynord, sorry, went to a few clubs and then went to Coventry. He was there for just one season and then he just went to NAC, Horatials, and then just basically worked his way down the leagues. Um, he was he had a manager career as assistant coach at FC20 women's team, um, but he left in 2017. And then he's since then worked as a fitness coach for 20 and as a person trying for players such as Kevin prince Boateng. So there you go. A little bit of player trivia for you. Just close that now um but yeah i'm just gonna move this up here thank you as always for watching hope you're enjoying the series i'm getting into it now as well um so that's good and i hope to have a few more views on this episode hope you all start to enjoy the series let me know in the comment section what you like and don't like if you've got any players that you want me to try actually before i go let me see if Paulo Wancha. If anybody remembers him, you are a legend in my eyes. Yeah, Paulo Wancha. You can't see him because you can only see him on. Hold on. Uh, oh, what have I done here? Oh, there we go. Look, Paulo Wancha. Chicago. I'll see if I can sign him in the summer or something. I'll add him to the shortlist. Anyway, I'm going to go. Enjoy the rest of your, your week. And I'll be back next week with another episode. If you want me to do two episodes a week, let me know, because at the moment I'm only doing one. So if you would rather have two, let me know. Um, anyway, I'll speak to you soon. All the best. Bye.